Hey, Michael with X-Force PC. I want to take you through, uh, I guess you'd say, the ordering process on this RTX system. And the reason I'm doing this is we have a lot of customers call us and they basically want us to go step by step through all of these options and discuss them. So I'm going to do that now and hopefully that'll cover the majority of the questions. Keep in mind that everything on this page could change, including prices, specs, and so forth. So bear that in mind when you're watching this video that we may have changed this price or we may be going with the 2070 graphics card. So just bear that in mind when you watch this video. So of course if you scroll down you're gonna see all these options and let's just start going through them. The processor, you've got a choice between the 8600K at 4.5 or the 8700K at 4.8. I can tell you the difference in performance is very small, but the price difference is somewhat substantial because we go with a water cooler with the i7 because it produces more heat, and we feel like to effectively evacuate that heat, we're going to go with a water cooler to, to get that heat out of the system because when you ramp that chip up to 4.8 versus 4.5 you'd be surprised how much more power and heat that produces. Um, you're looking at anywhere from 0 to 5 percent you know difference maybe 10 in really special situations you might get 10 percent but a more typical is a 5 percent performance increase for your uh, 200 plus dollars there. We personally recommend just sticking with the i5. Now, if this were a low-end i5, there'd be a bigger difference. But this is a really high-end i5 at 4.5 gigahertz. So keep that in mind that uh, this is still incredibly fast. Now, memory, using 16 gig, a DDR4 3200. 3200 is very, very fast RAM. 16 gigs is plenty for 99% of the people out there you would have to be doing something special or weird or unusual to need more than that, uh, to need 32 gigs. X-Plane typically consumes 3 to 5 gigs of RAM um, unless you're, again, doing some unusual things. And so that's why you might opt for more RAM. RAM at this $195 is expensive right now, and hopefully RAM prices are going to come down, But and you'll see this number lower, but that's where we're at right now. On the graphics card, the 2070 is going to be plenty for most people, but right now that card has not yet come out. But by the time you watch this video, you may see that the 2070 is out. The um, RTX cards all support ray tracing and DLSS, which I have a separate video on. And for most people, the 2070 is actually going to be plenty of card. Um, and that will probably be our base card once the 2070 comes out. Um, the only reason you need to go to the 2080 or the 2080 Ti is, again, if you're doing something kind of unusual, running lots of screens um, or really high-resolution screens, then you might want to consider the video card upgrade. The smaller difference between this is between this 2080 and 2080 Ti. Really, the only thing you gain by going to the 2080 Ti at this time is you can crank your anti-aliasing up a good bit higher without a frame rate hit, and that's what you'd be paying for there. And there's a, this is a big price jump. Hopefully this price will come down, but right now there's a big price premium on the 2080 Ti because they just came out. And again, this, this video is being made on September 30th of 2018. If you're watching this video months later, then uh, some of this stuff, these prices may have changed. Your pr we also on here have primary and secondary storage. The motherboard has two M.2 ports on it or slots for two high-speed SSDs. And so um, the primary storage you have to have, that is for your system to boot off of. That's like your C drive. And you'll see we have a one terabyte at 560 megabytes per second and another one at 3200 megabytes per second. Basically, you're paying more money for higher performance there. And what I can tell you is if you run a synthetic benchmark, you can see that performance difference. Um, you can measure it. But in day-to-day -day use of the system, it's difficult to tell the difference between one SSD and the other. Um, 
you know, you'd be talking about X-Plane run loading maybe 10% faster, something like that. So if you're on a budget, there's nothing wrong with sticking with the base one terabyte at 560 megabytes per second. It's still very fast. And going to this higher performance one, while it is faster, is surprisingly subtle, the difference between the two. Um, so don't be afraid to go with the 560 megabytes per second one. Secondary storage. This is only for special situations. Most people do not need this. But if you want a secondary SSD, maybe you're doing video editing or you want to store a bunch of add-on scenery on it or whatever, then that's what this secondary storage is for. This will not add to your boot drive. This would be a separate drive in your computer that we will label your S drive for storage. And so you can copy anything you want to it, but nothing will be automatically placed there. You will have to place it there. And it's sort of like having a, you know, an external hard drive hooked up to your computer, except this is a really fast hard drive because it's an SSD and it's built right inside the computer. So most people, 90-something percent of people, will not need this secondary storage. If you don't think you need it, you probably don't. Operating system, Windows 10. Unless you're running this system in a business environment, 99% of the people don't need Pro. If you need Pro, you should know you need Pro. If you don't know you need Pro, you probably don't need it. Um, one other thing is if for some reason you didn't buy Pro and you found out later, oh my god, I needed Pro, what was I thinking? You can always go to the Windows Store and buy an upgrade to Pro. Now in there I think it costs $99, but um, do know you're not stuck with Windows 10 for life. If you had to have Pro, you could, you could upgrade it, you click, you put your credit card in, and within a couple of minutes you're on Pro. Optical drive. Uh, the new cases do not come with optical drive bays, so we're not including one by default, but we give you the option of a USB DVD burner reader drive. Uh, for It'll read and write DVDs and CDs. And again, 90% of people will not need this. Um, X-Plane comes on a digital download now, so um, if you need that, you probably know that you need it. If you're not sure, you can always add one later. You know, it's an external thing. Monitors, we of course, this is pretty self-explanatory, but you can have, you know, a single 27 inch, a single 32 inch, three 27 inch monitors uh, for kind of a surround view, or a single 4K Samsung monitor. Now these could change over time. This is what I have in here right now, but these could change over time. If you're going to go with a single display, just one, I'd recommend a 32, whether it be the 1080p or the 4K. 4K has four times the resolution of 1080p, in case you were wondering why there's a pretty de decent price difference. Um, and that QLED is a, is a nice monitor. So uh, if you're going with a single display, consider strongly going with a 32. Surge protector, you need a good surge protector. You don't have to buy it from us. Uh, we give you the option to buy it from us if you want. Speakers, um, sound is not a huge deal in X-Plane. Um, you're just hearing the motor whir and hum, and you're hearing the landing gear kind of come up and down, but it's not a huge, huge thing. Um, you do need some way to hear it, though. If you're using a television, you can just use the speakers in a television, but if you're using a monitor, then you're going to want some speakers. You don't have to buy them from us, but we offer you a couple of options here that are fairly low-end speakers, but again, that's because X-Plane, the sound is not, you know, everything. You're not hearing a whole lot. Um, you're not hearing explosions and bullets whizzing past your head. It's just a humming of the engine, some landing gear noise, and maybe some ATC. X-Plane. Yeah, if you already own X-Plane, then there's no reason to buy it again. We will go ahead and load it on your system, and the first time you go to start X-Plane, it'll come up and go, put your key in, because right now you're not licensed. So all you do is put your key in, and you're off and running. If you don't own X-Plane, it probably makes sense to go ahead and 
buy a copy of X-Plane here if that's what you plan to use. We'll preload it, we'll put your key in for you, and we'll provide you with the key in case you ever had to reinstall it. Monitor cables. Um, we include, if you check this box, some high quality uh, cables for connecting up to three 4K displays. They don't have to be 4K, but up to 4K displays to your um, computer, and that'll allow you to, um, you know, do again, do up to 4K. Um, they're high quality. They'll be the right type of connectors, and we're assuming when we conclude these cables that your monitor or television that you're using has HDMI in. So if for some reason yours don't, then maybe don't check this box, but pretty much every decent display these days has uh, HDMI in. Once you get all your choices made, you just hit the Add to Cart button and you go on from there. So hopefully that helps go over some of the options. Um, I'll remind you that the base system for most people will be awesome. These are down here. These options are down here just for the outlier, the person that wants more for whatever reason. And so we give them the option, give you the option to pick more for the system. Hopefully that helps.